The world of horse racing is fast, prestigious, and beautiful. But not even the fashion of the racetrack can stand up to the threads a jockey sports on the backs of their thoroughbreds. These often colorful and pattern outfits are called silks. And here in Long Island, New York is where some of the winningest silks are stitched. Okay guys, I'm ignorant to the silk world. Is it made of silk? No, actually it's made of satin, some is like nylon. Up to now, I've, we've been using a lycra. A little spandex? Yes. Yeah, a little and made out. form fitted. Sisters Antoinette and Anna Marie have been sewing racing silks for over 45 years. And their history making career began as nothing more than a hobby. My husband was a jockey and my brother-in-law was a jockey, my sister's husband. So both the I, hubbies are jockeys. Yeah, and I made him a birthday gift and then I made one for my husband the following month and then the jockey started telling owners in the paddock that, you know, Joe Brocklebank's wife makes jockey silks and that's how it started. Word spread. Yeah, never did any advertisement. And there's no need as these silks have crossed finish lines in ways that very few get to. The 37 year wait is over. You've won the last three Triple Crowns. They it's were in your silks. Seattle Slough in 77, a firm in 78, and American Pharaoh in 2015. I feel like they're lucky silks. So speaking of luck, get my hands dirty, put a little luck in a silk today. Because that would be great. Not yet primed to outfit the big boys, I'm trying my hand at miniature silks. Okay, what do we got here? I see star, diamond, and chevron. A chevron, mm -hmm. which goes like this. Okay, so what do I do? You're gonna trace the star. This is like arts and crafts back in the exactly. day. On a set of sleeves, you would do six for each sleeve. So you would do about 12 of those. Wow. You do everything by hand. Mm -hmm. That is love right there, huh? I'm cutting one star, which is stressing me out. And they, they cut like 12 stars on one silk. Look at that little baby right there. It's my first little star. They don't make those kind of silks. I feel like it looks like more of a shooting star than a regular star. Yes. Is this the hardest kind of stuff that, oh, you see she's going in there. She's correcting me. Yeah. So we've got our star. So I, pe I peel, mm -hmm. peel that guy off. And I think we'll put the star on the red one. That looks nice. And you always want to try to make sure you have it centered to the middle. Did I put pressure? Yeah. So how did you learn about all these designs and how to make them? Well, the Jockey Club has a form. And they stay traditional they to that. They stay traditional yeah. to that, and then other people go beyond that, doing up their own design. Uh huh. And the Jockey Club all approve or not approve. What do you think? Is that good? Yes. Okay. See, now look. Yeah. And now you, you would bring it over to the sewing machine, and you would sew it on. It cutting out the design. Yeah, good. I think I did all right. What do you think? Perfect. I have to tell you that I've never sewed before, so you watch I and will. you let me know if I'm okay. doing all right. Put the needle down, turn it around. Boom. You've done this before. I'm sure this wasn't the machine you were using 47 years ago. No, in fact, I started on a little JC Penny machine. So you've upgraded the sewing machine throughout the years. Did you ever do it by hand? No. Silks get washed over and over and over again, and there's a lot of movements with these, so definitely need a machine. How many hours a week do you think you put in oh, being here? I put in 10 to 14 hours uh, a day. Wow. And sometimes 16 hours, especially when like the breeders races came up and then the triple crown races. So and, you've got to work hard to get it and done. I get it done. Snip this. Yep. Yep. There you go. Voila! My first sewing ever. We can make this for like a little doll. Yes. So when you see your silks win, do you feel like you're a part of that? Oh, I am. In fact, I almost jump out of this seat. I'll say, my silks just won, or our silks to my horse just won. And my mother will say, you own that horse? I go, no, I wish I did. <laughs> and it's the care, detail, and love that Anna Marie and Antoinette put into their work that make these slick silks especially charming. 
Now, do you think that my little silks have a chance of the triple crown? First of yeah. all, you have it upside down. Well, there you go. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think you're doing great. Think I got a winner here? I hope so. Yes. Me too.